Good evening. Welcome back to another stream of Baldur's Gate 3. So, when we last left off, we, uh... <laughs> Gale blew up. Like, we had planned and ended the whole fucking game. <laughs> like, one ending of the game we got. Uh, it was, it was kind of amusing, but yeah. Anyway, so we chased Ketherick Thorm uh, to where we met the... Basically, when we met the Absolute, uh, all three members of... Well, we didn't meet them, but we saw them the, uh, arguing with each other. And how they're controlling... And we figured out how they're controlling the parasites with the big brain thing, right? We're about to see that cutscene again. Everybody's long rested, right? Yes, let's go. No longer a background, no. We found it. The Absolute is behind... You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prism? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. That's a bad idea. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. Trust me, Gail. We'll find another way. I do way. trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down. 
to stand by you. Thanks, brother. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The absolute. Helm preserve us. You wag your word flap in vain, olderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. <laughs> Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. Interesting. Okay. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Uh, who's that prick? There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Why is the prison important to you? The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers, but for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. You're planning on betraying your allies? Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory. Here we go. You got to be kidding me. This game, man, I swear to God, where is... Oh, wow, he's not... he didn't even junk it on the fucking elevator. That's how I am. Before I leave, so I just had a me I just remembered something. Could be useful. Hang on. Did we ever loot that uh, chest that was by the brain 
uh, reader thingy. I am tired, but uh, but enjoy Baldur's Gate. No worries, Mimitrits. Long day. But I think I've eluded the chest that was here. Yeah. Alright. Okay, now let's get to the fight. Thank you, Housen. Where are you now? Okay, you're here. Thank fuck. Oh, great thing is, is that you received initiative, uh, same as Lazel and Tab. Alright. What have we got? We've got four skeletons there, four there. Oh, there's our ally. We need to save her. We can use her help in this fight. Is that a mind flayer? God damn it. Alright. Alright, let's have a look here. What can we do? Alright. Oh, that's pretty good. So there. You know what? I might actually do Dimension Door with Gale and then come over here and help her out. Actually, yeah, let's go do that. Gale, you're coming with me. to attack. Fuck. Okay. Actually, better idea. Now that you're here, let's Misty Step. Whee! Closer to Catherick. My path be true. Let our enemy's corpses nourish the ground. There. Let's 
Invalid target? What do you mean invalid target? Fuck off. Nah, I don't wanna... Actually, if we do it... Like this here... You know what? No, no, no. We'll do it. We'll do it on these guys. Get rid of the... Um, get rid of them. We can't reach them. Fuck. Thanks for letting me know, Manji. Appreciate you. Jesus Christ. So, what's he weak to? Uh, he's just immune to necrotic and, resi and completely resistant to poison. Vulnerable, okay. There we go, we helped her. Give her combat inspiration. Oh, she's only got half HP though, maybe I should have healed her instead. Can you Misty Step? Yeah, you can. That's what I want to do. I want to kill these guys. This should be enough to kill them all. Like that. Well, two of them are dead. The other two, not so much. Jesus Christ. Fuck yeah. Enemies about. I am fury. I am death. Retreat. You're pretty fucking beat up. Take a healing potion. I see. 
shall not yield. Death is but a word away. You do me a favor and uh, fuck off again. Oh, he survived, God damn it. That provokes opportunity, so that's not ideal. Uh, let's give him a weaker potion. Would you I really need to kill that fucking mind flayer. He's being a pain in the ass. If I can cast confusion on him, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I had a feeling that wouldn't work, but I wanted to try it anyways. Uh, I'm gonna heal. Level two. A stitch in time, so keep you. I'm gonna keep you alive. You're pretty fucked up, so let's keep you. Uh. Where where's his health? Oh he's oh he's pretty beat up. That's actually pretty good. Let's fireball him. At a level 4. Oh, God damn it. Why did that provoke opportunity to attack? He had line of sight. Nice. Oh shit, that actually... What a fool you are. You cannot kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours.
Of course we gotta fight a god of death. <laughs> Pretty beat up. Give him a two. I don't want to use my level two. Ah, it's level two spell slot right now. Jesus Christ, he's got so much health. I doubt disarming attack will do anything and he doesn't. You know what? No, let's try it. Disarming attack. <laughs> Alright. Okay, he dropped his weapon. Battle surge. Main in attack. Get this guy off my fucking back. Can I heal Bone Shield? Oh shit, that's not good. Don't know if I found out to just heal Gale. Oh no, that's why there's still ice around here, isn't there? Yeah, no, don't do that. Uh, let's just ice him again. One's gone. Three of bonus action.
just get your spell on I can't hit. Oh, I do have a bonus action. Fuck. Okay, that's weird. One life to my life. Sustain. Where is Gorm somehow is keeping it alive? Fuck yeah, that killed it. Something from acting. Critical hit, fuck. Reaper's reward. I think I healed him. I don't know what the fuck it did. But you can't. What do you mean you can't? You should have. Oh, you probably have Bone Shield. Okay, that would explain it. Uh, alright. Nice crit hit. Alright. That hits him. Unleash me. God damn, he's got more of these goddamn incubation egg things. not healing and why something's going on and I don't know what uh. and a fireball that's doing some crazy amount of damage to him which I really like let's give him a weaker potion I don't want to give him anything too good because he's doing all right for now Oh shit, I got him! <laughs> Impossible. Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. you must. Then we fly this foul place. I got a new companion. Fuck yeah. Left for ash and bone. Fitting end to the chosen of Merkel. Catherick's netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. I've got plenty of these, man. 
Alright, I'm gonna pause here for a moment because I really need to use the bathroom. So I'll be back in a couple. BRB.
<laughs> thick angle uh thick angel bitch required harim strength the level <laughs> god damn it manji rest of them first. How do they get up here? They probably jumped across. What comes oh, now? Jumping across. Well, fuck. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Okay. How did I fuck up that badly? Oh, that's how I get up there. Alright. Plus, there seems to be a desk that I can grab. I can check out. We'll resurrect house once we're back at camp. <laughs> because we, uh, it hasn't saved since the fight, so... Lord Gortash, the Committee of uh, Concern uh, Har uh, Pariahs would like to extend an invitation to a formal meeting at the High Hall to discuss plans uh, short and long term for the economic li livelihood of Baldur's Gate. Two days, uh, two day, Tuesday the 12th, no uh, noon, uh, luncheon will be served. May we presume you'll be attending. I need the book uh, concerning the cult of the absolute and stages it presents. This hastily written drivel is admittedly well intentioned. Its author is clearly uh, fizzing with fear of the absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the occult with other things like the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of what? Oh, one eyed Vecna, the lich. Uh, the, uh, that's, um, one of the current, uh, characters added, uh, in Dead by Daylight, the li uh, Vecna, the one-eyed lit short of a fucking, but yeah, we'll, uh, we were talking about him a lot when he first came out on DVD, but yeah, and even the withering of, uh, of some important fruits from Schultz, the, this person needs a glass of water and, and a lie down. Mind, uh, the Grand Design is a mind flayer species wide ambition to return to the days of their conquering greatness through an act of sudden mass seromorphosis, giving the elder brain in overall command an implacable army of indolent slave warriors with which to defeat all their old enemies, humans and humanoid Kityanki and Eutharid. Of course, this is a delusion, delusional madness, megalomania on a cosmic scale, and I know just how to turn it to our purposes. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact their grand design, but only in the way that suits us. The Indolids should, shall have their crusade to enslave, but they will be acting in turn as our slaves, and we shall determine the how, when, and where of the great Ithalid outbreak. To be precise, I, Gortash, will determine these things, as commanding the grand design is clearly a interesting. So that's how they're doing it. They're like, yo, you want to do the grand design? And then they're falling for it. Church admires your faith to thick angel bitches rewarded extra holy water. <laughs> oh, 
I'll be taking that. comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. Do you, <coughs> it do you know who our dominated. enemies are? To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it, our enemies are formidable. One of them I know. Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver, a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it's most likely she follows Baal, the god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Chosen of the Dead Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together, and with those stones and that crown, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. What are these stones? The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasites, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese. These chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. What do we do now? We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into Mind Flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the Brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance to strike comes, you must take it. For there may only be one chance. Baba, I love you. Love from my Ivy. Ketherick's Warhammer. 18 damage, necrotic and psychic with bludgeoning. Interesting. That's a pretty cool shield, though. Uh, you gain plus one bonus to spell saves. Uh, your shield bash advantage on dex saving. This, this is heavy armor. Magical play or incoming damage is reduced by two. When acti uh, Reaper's rigidity, when activated, you cannot be moved against your will or by any spell or action, but have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Disadvantage on stealth checks, but we can do Howl of the Dead. That's a laser.
we cut off his head, that would be great. Uh, security, make sure he is fucking dead. The wizard's quite worthless with time in mind. There are in fleet beckons to discover. I would follow. Like your mind wants you dead. Aelin! Isabel! Your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, he he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? For sure. welcome we look forward to it now you will leave us we must take sucker in one another's bodies and words <laughs> hey, then. we'll see you later hello a curse lifted the dead three allied once more the balance shifts there are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? I think so. I'm not sure. Don't all living... No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. I need you to get Halson up. I'm surprised to see you. Why are you? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. You seem to know a lot about the Death Three. Yes. Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The planes thus quake. 
and the gods shudder. Need his resurrect somewhere. Then thou must provide that this is the price of balance. Yes. Well counted. I want a house in your fucking idiot. At dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. Fate spins along as it should. Hast thou need of my services? Big painting. Is there more you can tell me? No. <laughs> Alright. Thanks. Faders. Now, we're going to camp, but first, let's see what we we'll get out of say. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long, and I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. Seem in a good mood. I thought you might be uh, subdued after coming close to blowing. <laughs> Not out of the shadow curse woods yet. Uh, give him a chance. What does that mean? It's the crown, the one the elder brain was wearing, the one I very nearly destroyed. Netherese magic, so pure, so complete. I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. Back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerous sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. So you just want to go shopping? <laughs> Book shopping? But yes, <laughs> their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but. I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. God damn it, You'll have through. to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Them. Hopefully that gets rid of them. Oh, we still haven't found Mole, have we? Let's have a look for Mole. Hey there, you two. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. 
Step closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, Most High. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the Slayer of the Wicked One. We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Cool. How do you intend, how do you in, intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Hmm. Let's get to know more about you. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Are you really Saloon's daughter? Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Uh, would your mother be willing to aid us in the fight against the Dead Three? Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. How did you come to be trapped in the Shadowfell? <sighs> Catherick Thorn. Father of my one and only love. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. <sighs> Catherick Thorn never did trust me. Even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel. By her love for me. When she died. <laughs> curse the day. The hour. We each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell, claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed. Murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead. And we, we live! Cool. <laughs> hey there. I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin And I'm is so glad here. I managed to keep you alive. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become. By killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. You, see, you guys seem to have a lot of history. A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorm. Is, was, my father. He raised me to serve Saluna as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Saluna came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin, daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. Tell me, do you believe in love at first sight? <laughs> Love and lust hourly. <laughs> I certainly believe you were starstruck, at least. You sound like my father. But it was more than that. This was no mere attraction. It was love. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. 
Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. You become a chosen of my, um, uh, Michael. Uh, Miracle. Yep, back. Yep, that. Uh, I didn't know that then. But I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now. Said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land. My home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them. And myself. No matter what. Sorry to break it to you, but Jahira's dead. <laughs> I did try to resurrect her. Understand. It's all out in the open now. And with my father dead. I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing. Rest. I'm grateful for your help. Your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long. But I'm grateful for a safe place to... Well... Just to be. Hey, Will. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Where would they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Uh, Mizura said you can say what led to your pact in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? As would I, and more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. The coal of the dragon had infiltrated Baldur's Gate. To what end? Not on that. We'll continue the story. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. 
go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head teems. Will wants to show you what happened. Hello. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely she doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she save it? Uh, you took on 25 cultists on your own. I find that hard to believe. And what of your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazura had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. Uh, she doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Sacrificing your soul to save a city was a, was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battlefield? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. I understand. You must have been furious uh, at your father for throwing you out of the city. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. Do you miss him? More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. Hey, Karlak. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? It seems he's a servant of Bane, a Ke uh, as Ketherick served Michael. Uh, who knows what power he's gained since uh, you knew him? I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. 
He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. We'll do it together, whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. Hey there. You did it. Catherick Thorne is no more. The Shadow's grip is broken. Soon. The land shall heal. Glad I could help. Not as glad as I am. Nature moves at its own pace. And bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. Glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. So when will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but... we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. What happened to Oliver exactly? Did Athaniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Hmm. By now you got uh, what you wanted after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. I'm glad to have you. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> hey there. I guess I can take care of myself. I mean, I've gotten this far. is broken and the shadows are lifting in time these lands will heal hey shadow how are you feeling the shadows are losing their grip on these lands shark can indeed be thwarted comforting to know of course you wanted something I'm sorry. It might be sure. better. I had a feeling you'd say that. I never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. You must be thinking about the ritual. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? Uh, do you think we can stop it? Well, in theory, it's simple. Destroy Casador, stop ritual. That's assuming <laughs> we want to stop the ritual. What? <laughs> I've obviously thought about it. 
If I was the one who completed the ritual, I'd have such power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. Hmm. Actually, who wouldn't be tempted? The souls that need to be sacrificed? Uh, I don't relish it, but my siblings lured thousands of people to their deaths over the years. I doubt Baldur's Gate would miss them. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. <clears throat> now, should we rest, or do we want to keep doing some stuff? Let's head back and we'll see what we've got around here. Yeah, we'll just take a long rest. Fuck it. We'll see what happens. I got talking to animals on? I do. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Give him a pet. He's a good boy. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh. oh, you know what? Maybe I could rework my class. Nah. It's only a hundred gold and I've got plenty of gold right now. Okay. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Open your mind to that sensation. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. in him do you not recognize your own blood my father that was him that is him he lives still and your mother too no it can't be i'm an orphan and who told you that your adoptive family you are not to blame you were young impressionable they took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. 
My parents. I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. The spear. How do you have it? I threw it into the Shadowfell. Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shar calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. <laughs> How you feeling? I wasn't expecting it. But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Fine. What's on your mind? Oh, is that all? Okay. Laters. Shadowheart was no true child of Shah. Merely a captive. She must have her vengeance. I agree. I'm listening. There it is. Alright. Let's see what happens now that we rest. We'll see, but I'm curious. No dream sequence? I was oh, that's honestly what I was expecting. A little, uh, gnomish friend. To come up like, yo, congratulations! And we talk further on it. No, that is already he's already done that mistake. Okay. You know I mean? Anyways, I kind of want to uh, pick up some. Hey, friend! Glad to see you here. There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. I was preoccupied with feeding Catherine Thorne. Who? Oh. Right. Well, forget about that, McGungus. We have more important things to worry about. Like Walbrin. What about him? Walbrin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. They have room powder, they have motive. We have to stop them. Hmm. How can you be sure? Because they're a gaggle of vindictive crybabies with no sense of propriety. That is to say, they gabbed about their plans like a geese, and I overheard them. Like a very devious goose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems we'll have our hands full in Baldur's Gate. With the sword of justice in one hand and the shield of self-righteousness in the other, we most certainly will. To saving the city and my fool of a friend. 
these towers are much like the absolute. I owe you an apology. Do you now? Uh, it's a Barkas you should apologize to. Your reunion in last light was strained. Barkas and I are another matter. I'm dealing with you right now. I saw you as a means to escape. Nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude in Last Light. Apology accepted. I wasn't sure you would. I appreciate it. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand Gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. Oh. Hmm. Let's try persuasion. 14, 3, 6, 9. Oh, we just, as long as we don't get a 1, we get this. <laughs> we got a 17. The plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand Gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I, and I alone, can stop it. That's delusional, man. Alright. What? Okay, something injured me. Uh, let's go back on some older things here. Okay. So now we got that. Rescue the Grand Duke. Okay, Boulder's Gate again. Go home, Marcus, he said. Okay, let's have a look around at Moonrise Towers. <laughs> Current goal is to find Mole. Oh, we haven't been here before, have we? I don't think we have. Floating me. She was abducted by one of those fucking flying things. So I assumed it would have been there. We looked in the uh, in the dungeon already. We didn't see anything. You know, let's have another look down there. What the? Oh, it's the cat. That's asleep. Okay. Definitely don't think she'll be here. Let's recheck the dungeon area. I swear, I can already feel a change in the air. Like the cursed.
know what? I don't think believe I've been yeah, I haven't been here. Oh no, I have. This is where they were uh the two torturers were. rack chilling to behold and even more so to imagine the horror its victims must have endured it up before I go any further just to see if moles in the tower or not if I don't want to know the exact location I just want to know if it's a yes or no or no that's gonna be tricky though because I, I can very easily accidentally spoil her for me to, and see where she is exactly Okay, they cannot. She's not there. Oh, wait, let me... Wait. Let me check something. Hang on. Yeah, no, she's not there. Okay. So, let's move on. <coughs> uh, where can we go now? I actually have a place where we can check out. I need to go through my gear room. Uh, yeah, hang on, let me do this. Cause I want to take on that. Um, oh, hello. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that part that Shah denied to me. Mm. Uh, you've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now. And hope we're ready when the moment comes. Yeah, we're going but after another boss that, fight. There's one thing I need to see to. And what's that? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Alright. I'm gonna go through my gear because I want bludgeoning damage. Am I versatile with uh, Warhammer? Oh, sorry, not versatile. Proficient with Warhammers? Great axes, helmets, long swords, balls. Warhammers, I am. Okay. But I might give that to Lazelle. Because if I'm proficient in it, so is she. So if I do is Karlak So give this to Lazel. Uh, so for those of those wondering, I'm thinking about um, taking on that um, giant uh, mechanical boss at the forge area, but he was only weak to bludgeoning. 
What is that? Oh, that's her spear. Oh, that's actually a fucking legendary spear. Sweet. I'm trying to see what um, bludgeoning weapons we have. You only got that uh, one war hammer, it seems. Actually, no, we should bring Karlak instead. Because she has fire resistance. Yeah, 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 don't do that. Time to rest. Uh, if I bring myself, Karlak, and maybe two sorcerers, like Gale and Halson, or maybe. I don't know what's best for this fight. Well, jo uh, jump in here real quick. Take a the truth is finally dawning. I'd join love me. to join, but I Take don't think house let's spot. make and let's get Carlac. Yeah, let's get Carlac. Top of our Lazel. There she is. Alright. Come here. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. No room in your party. Let's hop. What's the story? Okay, now you're proficient. Are you proficient in Warhammers? You are. Okay, good. That's what we want. So you're gonna take this one. Is a better or a weapon for you overall. Okay, that'll help with the fight to come. Let's level you up. Could make a heavy armored. Oh, master. Flave, halberds, quarterstaffs, or spears. Nah. You see, I like savage attacker. That's, that does sound really good. Weapon master. Now you see she already has proficiency on certain weapons, so don't worry about that. Savage attacker or No no we're gonna get Savage Attacker. I really like the Savage Attacker trait. Oh yeah, I rarely play real, don't I? <laughs> okay, so you got a new spell. Gale already does fireball.
sounds cool. God damn it. Gain the ray of sickness, aromatic orb, and silent spells. You cast these spells once per long rest, and they don't expend any spell slots. You can cast confusion with a warlock spell, polymorph, slow, bestow curse. Now, when you cast Eldritch Blast, add your charisma modifier to the damage it deals, unleashing it. Unless it is a negative. Major armor. One with shadows. I don't know what that does. I'm guessing it's an invisibility thing. I'm liking this book of ancient secrets. I'm getting this one. Isn't a rapier a finesse weapon? I think it is. I might, I might grab that one. That's my foot. That's my first thingy I'm thinking of. I'm not sure add it. Yeah, let's get that um, defensive duelist. Yeah, it is. Uh, rapiers are finesse weapons. Okay. Hang on, who's got um, Jahira's weapons? Someone's got them. Here, they sell's got them. I 
Okay, there's Skematar in there. So are you... Shit, doesn't look like... He's proficient in those. Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright. So that's not ideal. see the spells he has being what I need right now. Can't give up now. Okay, you'll be helpful. Because he was resistant to everything but bludgeoning when he was in the lava. So let's get Shadow Heart in here, maybe. Because she's got a bludgeoning weapon currently. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. No, no, no. Let's get Lazel. Yeah, let's get Lazel because she's a much better fighter. Speak your. The party's full. You'll need to make room. Uh, take rules. Well okay, Gail, Karlak, Lazel. But I I don't have any bludgeoning weapons, so that's it. Alright. Let's go with this for now. See what we can travel. Try to fast travel back to the um, forge area. Well, maybe we can't. Looks like we can't go back. Fuck. ambush chest area. I'll well, pay those a visit. I'll we'll give those a visit. Doesn't look like we can go back to the Underdark. Fuck. So let me look at my journal real quick. Looks like we just got no choice but to go to Boulder's Gate.
Alright, let's head to Baldur's Gate. Actually, do these chests and ambush areas first. Fuck it. We leave the heart of the absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick, but Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Will there be anyone left when he arrived in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen. Oh. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind, I was trying to teleport so I could get whatever these ambushes are hiding. Alright, I need to take my insulin first, so let me do that. Alright, we got an, we still got half an hour or so before I gotta call it. So let's go check these ambush areas out. Let's start with the one straight ahead of us. Tormenta. 
You know, have I saved? Yeah, we have. Okay, saved. Enemy is surprised. Let's find out. Rotted me, you little bitch. Okay, what the fuck are Jack and Boom messaging about? <laughs> ah, Warhammer. Space Marine 2. I thought I thought it was a hidden chest. 
like, I don't think they should be there. Anyways, we got this Potter's Key that I'm curious about. So I don't know what this is all about. What these guys might have been protecting. Blast scars. <laughs> Spell and sword alike were used to ravage this battlefield. Imagine the glorious din of it all. The streaming banners, the charging knights, the piles of severed limbs. Mine. Better be careful not to trigger that thing. Visual interrogation transcript. Harper in charge. Kaladov ever spring. Uh, tra transcriber Luna Shan. Your name, Dal, Dal Timberman. Occupation, farmer. Potatoes, a farmer. Pause. Uh, how many guards have Thorn Station at the South Wall, Dal Timber? What do you mean, South Wall? Do not play full with me, Timber. The Moonrise South Wall. I don't know. I swear. Liar. Pause. Write this down. Luna, Thorns, the spy refuses to cooperate. Harsher measures required. I said, write it down. I noticed there's a towel, a chair, and chains. <laughs> Interesting. See, there was an ambush here. There was a there was a key hidden in like you know a hollowed out brick. Ah, there. There's a chest there. Okay, how do we get that? What, what? I've had alcohol, what? <laughs> How are you, Jack? How's Space Marine 2 treating you? I saw you on it this morning. I have looked at chat. I've looked. I, I was just reading it on stream. Well, not reading it out loud, but yeah, I was looking at it. How the fuck do I get that chest? Oh, 
we could misty step it, but that would use a spell slot. Well, maybe if we jump from there to there. Ah, we still won't be able to reach it. Maybe there's a way to get to the ceiling and drop down. See the Warhammer jokes I made? No! You know what, actually, yeah, let's, let's try this. Hang on. Here we go, jump up here. Should sure we have a picture? There we go, now we're talking. is a chaos whore, that's no surprise. Uh, Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn of, uh, who would not turn from you no matter the consequences in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother Alfred in his efforts to conceal the rest of, the, of your relics. Let your let the name Last Light not be a... Oh! Important. Let your mood glow continue forever and feel our... Last Light! Isn't that the inn? I bet you there's some sort of secret in the inn, and this is how, and this is the key to unlock it. I'm taking this. Uh, radiating orb gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, the target receives two turns of. Rece uh, the target receives two turn of radiating. Really got a light in my load. <laughs> Fucking heavy. Hi there. I mean, if there's a secret area in the inn, it's got to be here, right? It makes perfect sense.
I'm gonna move these boxes out of the way. Gotta be something here, right? Open up. Heard a rat earlier, maybe we can talk to animals. I wonder if... What is this? Smoke panel panel. Ah, oh, you know what? Okay, hang on. Everyone get back. Yeah, everyone get back. Gail, do me a favor. Looking ahead. Oh, I have the magic touch. Get as much distance as possible on it. Hang on, before I do that. <laughs> Quick save. Here we go. That was indeed something. Okay, let's wait for the fires to go out. What to do? Is a chaos whore left me to kill the flash on my own. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I find it funny.
shit. Okay, let's just skip your turn. You can't do shit. Wait, who's not in the fight? I haven't fight. Okay, what did I say? Oh! That was pretty cool. I can't Gale move, that's what I want to do. Still in Marvel? Gale for now anyways. Let me recite their demise. I cannot die. Please help me. I just need to drink a potion. Unfortunately, I'm uh, in a rough spot here. Yep, there you go.
get Gale up. Yeah, I think I can get Gale up. Alright. If you know this camera angle, that's me. Fuck it. Attack card, I can't do shit. Practically useless right now. This hood that we got. Hidden amidst columns detailing the income and expenditure of a tavern is an is an uh, of a tavern. Tavern aside, written in tiny urgent, uh, an expenditure of a tavern in an aside written in a tiny urgent handwriting. I have concealed the sacred relics for our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morford, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Catherick Thorne. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bounds of the Mason's Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can uh, of the Moon Maiden's light, and hope that the banners of the faithful will soon rise against the treacher uh, that treacherous dog Thor. I kind of feel like I would have got an inspiration if Shadowheart was here. But what I want to know is what that fucking statue was for. I have a feeling it's coming handy. Anyways, we have to pick this up, uh, pick this up again another day because for, uh, it's currently getting pretty late, so I have to wrap it up here. Alright guys, well that's it for me tonight. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. So I would like to thank Jack and Manji come around and oh and remember shirts will come around in the chat i'd like to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time all right everybody take care and have a good one